hello 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 welcome back to the stem activity of the day so i really had fun with this one the propeller zip line now <laughs> this is either a single person activity or multi-player activity because you can turn this creation into your very own game you can lengthen the string um you know you're you're basically limited to the the turn and the tension of your rubber band so you can take it a full backyard length <laughs> and really have fun with this one create your own propeller zip line um, using the tension of the rubber band um, you can also do a, um, a zip line activity which I'll probably do later on um, a zip line activity without using the rubber band and just using the gravity to see and make that a competition also to see who can create a uh, a zip line that travels the fastest you know does it does it require heavier front end uh, especially when you're dealing with gravity as far as that one goes um, or is it just a lighter um, contraption or or device to carry whatever think of a toy or something that you'll put something in a bucket for all I know <laughs> but as far as this one how much you spend that rubber band is going to determine how fast it goes right in which direction you spin the rubber band so I think you're gonna love this activity I loved it my boys loved it we're actually still playing with it when it comes to the string we used a fishing line um, I wouldn't recommend you use yarn or anything that has that type of texture to it um, because the paper clip will get caught in it so we used um, fishing line I think that's a great um, a great material to use you can get that at the Dollar Tree also um, or online or at a hobby store or fishing store right <laughs> so I think you're gonna love it let's do this